about 12 countries from Eastern and Southern Africa attended the workshop, which aimed to ensure that all participants are adequately prepared and understand the new funding model. This will assist in improving the quality and access to the fund for a much greater impact. Speaking at the media briefing, Global Funds Grain Management Head Mark Eldon shared the motive behind changing the funding model. Under the old system, they would submit a proposal. If it was rejected, it was rejected, and then they had to wait to the next round, which was often one or two years. Under the new funding model, if a, if a concept note is, is sent back, it will be sent back with some clear things that need to happen to get it accepted, and the country gets another opportunity, several opportunities, it's iterative, to, to come back until basically they've got to yes. So I think that's another key difference. The Global Fund is currently providing financial support to more than 140 countries in the fight against AIDS, TB and malaria. The new funding model will be fully implemented by the end of this year. This is Stephen Kashekele reporting for the News on One.